If I had to say I'm completely surprised by this, I'd be lying straight to your face. On April 23rd, 2024, I turned 27. However, as someone who documents a lot of their life, I don't have footage from that day to show you. As the clock ticked, crossing one more year around the sun, I started to reflect on how this year of my life has gone by. There was excitement, joy. I've been able to conquer myself and challenges that I've been faced with over the years, which has made me into a confident man. Most of the time, some days I still feel like a piece of shit and like I don't know what I'm doing. I've been able to run a social media marketing agency for the past three years, working with many small and big brands, shooting content and commercial campaigns. I've built a social media following to where I can make dream projects come true, and I get to be surrounded by the best, most heartwarming and kind people around me. As someone who moved to a city he's never lived in, and picked up something to pursue without an education, I think I can proudly say that I've made it. I live in an incredible flat with my best friends, I get to do what I like for a living, and overall enjoy my life 99% of the time. If someone were to ask me if I have any regrets, my answer would be none. Really, I do what I like, and find meaning and purpose in, and try to build my life around it. If there's something I feel like it's missing, I work on it. Sure, I've had to make some sacrifices to build this kind of a life, but I'm thankful for my younger self for getting out there and completely sending it. So here I was, about to turn 27, achieved everything I ever wanted, reminiscing on all I've done when a thought popped into my head. Since the beginning of this year, and over the last five months, I haven't really made anything. My entire drive and hunger is gone. Why is it now, after all these years of work and success, at the pinnacle of my life and career, am I feeling empty? For someone of discipline and drive, that shook my world. I've been traveling, which has been a dream, and yet I haven't been passionate about my work and the thing I've been building for so many years. Why now? Why at the peak of it all am I experiencing this? Everything that I had done up until this point was self-made. At least, most of it. I've always felt like my way was the only right way, and I would blame others, at least in my head, if I tried their advice and method and it didn't work for me. It was all a mixture of my rebellious punk rock skateboarding teenage years, hating any system that was imposed on me, and also from insecurities. Being hurt and betrayed by others felt disappointing. I thought to myself that I should invest all of my time and effort into something that will never go away. A skill, a passion, as opposed to relationships and friendships which seemed to be fleeting. And so, when I was 20, I embarked. I left home with a dream, to build life of my own, by myself, on my own terms. To a place I've never been to, but only heard of because of other artists and creatives. Berlin. A place of chaos, but also freedom. As you already know the end of that story, I did it. I worked many odd jobs along the way, but eventually I built my creative and social skills to make it into the industry. Along the way, I made some pretty great friends too, although at times my social life did suffer a lot. In order to really do what I had set out to do, Sacrifices had to be made, and I just had to focus on work. I didn't go out much and had very little leisure time. On the other, I really loved what I was doing, and I wanted to continue doing more of it. The last few years, I've been able to rip the benefits of all my creative and self-work, allowing myself to invest more money into experiences. This year, it was finally time to travel again. The thing that started it all. Love you. Bye. To be honest, I didn't really plan to do that much traveling this year. I think life and events just conspired to make it happen, and all I had to do was accept the invite. And so, I set off. I experienced. I met people and told my story. I opened myself up to being honest and vulnerable, to listening more closely to others, their stories, and maybe even to receive and ask for help. I had so much pride in all the work that I've done alone that maybe at times I resented to listen because I knew I wasn't going to follow through anyway. I guess I just like getting hurt from my own mistakes. This time around though, I felt like I needed to change. In my travels, I met a lot of incredible people. People who I'd only dreamed to meet and imagine when I was a kid. There were times where I stopped and in awe, couldn't believe it. Something clicked in me. I understood that going forward, I wanted to invest more of my time into people instead of the skill. Because let's be honest, as much work as you do by yourself, you also need others to gain insight, perspective, and understand the world and yourself a little bit better. 
to share life with. So I had to stay off my phone and be present for every moment, knowing that this was a unique time in my life. Through them, I learned that our job can be very lonely sometimes. Social media, that is, as ironic as it might sound. I've always thought that being good at the skill is all that it will take to build something. But what I was missing was an important and vital part of life. A word that kept coming back to me, but could never really penetrate its meaning. Community. I had to rethink everything. Why did I start creating in the first place? Am I still that abandoned kid that is dying to be seen and understood? In my last video, I mentioned that being an artist is a very tough job. Most people romanticize it, but in reality, there are so many things that make this job very difficult at times. You need to overcome yourself in many different aspects. Put your heart into it and stay disciplined. To get good at it and actually be noticed takes years of work. You literally have to become a machine for creativity. And although I don't think that opinion of mine has changed, I felt the switch as the next chapter of my life flips its page. On my birthday, I had realized something very vital. Something that didn't really cross my mind until I stopped to think about it. I had burnt out. At first, I couldn't believe it. I've heard about it from other creators and didn't think it would ever happen to me. But it was the only explanation to why I couldn't sit down and do the work anymore. And so, after many years, I decided to give myself a rest. A break, as long as I needed, until I felt like I was ready again. Until I had something to say. I think the void which came with this period of my life had stemmed from a few things. I had completed a chapter in my life, a huge one that is, and I didn't realize it. There's no real end line. No one stops to throw the confetti and fireworks to celebrate your own goals and achievements. You have to do that for yourself. I had also completely monetized my hobby and what I was passionate about. And so when I didn't want to do that, I had to look for other creative endeavors or hobbies. I had also worked myself to the bone, running a company and serving clients, and at the same time trying to do personal projects on the side that would continue to fulfill me and my drive for the creative work. Maybe I was trying to rush my success and was just doing too much at once. I think I also tend to give myself a rough time when my tempo and rhythm of creativity changes. But hey, that's life. We can't always expect to run a marathon every day, especially when running is something you've been doing for over 10 years. Your relationship with the thing changes, and so do you. Looking back at it, I don't regret burning out. If anything, it allowed me to finally hit the stop and enjoy the rest of my life a bit more. Find value in other things except work. No one really has all the answers, and I don't yet too. It doesn't matter if you're 19, 27, 35, or 46. Everyone feels lost and stupid at some point in their lives. And that's just the way it is. What matters at the core of it though, and what I've been trying to remind myself of every day, is to make my time for the things that matter to me. If not for work and passion projects, then people, friendships and relationships. Our time here is limited, therefore any day could be our last. <laughs> Being honest with ourselves can feel very stupid sometimes. I think I personally tend to feel even more stupid that my problems exist because I compare them to the magnitude of others. I tend to think that they're unimportant and insignificant, but that in itself is self-sabotaging. What we're all going through matters, regardless of any comparison. Nothing is insignificant when it comes to how we feel.